the 240 volt receptacle it's a NEMA 1450 50 amps and then we need a circuit breaker uh, you have to see which brand is installed in your panel here like for example I have this uh, D I forgot the square D yeah square D is a brand so you would want to make sure that this is exactly similar right just a different type. ampere and a right type um, and this is 50 amp yeah. <coughs> this is a plate and the recess box where you're gonna go fit this and then this is the six gauge six awg wire conduit um, and uh, you have to see how much you need and once you break this wand you can just simply flip it up and this helps you take the wire go through this and then bring it up and this is the metal i think call it nug i see the previous installs are the plastic ones uh maybe you could make use of them they might be easier it looks like but uh this goes here it's a half inch and uh I just made a hole right below and this is where we're gonna go install it and uh, and then this would help you hold the wires in place and that's it, that's it. so I already cut the drywall yeah. so you see the main has 120 here you have 120 here I put my multimeter to 500 volts and then this is another way you can test that there is a reading for every panel now once you turn this okay here you go you see that this is still live right so once you cut this off that doesn't mean that these are off so only if you have the, a, only the bus bar. you see the bus above is zero. Can you see the reading? Mm -hmm. So that's zero. So that tells you now this is clean, but this portion you don't want to touch. You do not want to get any light Now, if you have an outside board, which wherein you can disconnect the power, you should. This is how you're going to run your wire. Just make sure that you have enough coming out here. Um, so we have a lot of wire which we don't need so I'm going to install the, uh, the circuit breaker this side we put these wires into the circuit breaker and I'll show you which ones and how so this is a circuit breaker and then this is where the power lines go and then you take a screwdriver flathead screwdriver and just open it up it loosens up and then you have to install if you see the circuit breaker here like this is exactly similar what you see is a red going down and the black going up just follow the same pattern um, and if you see here this line this has a red marking on it so red goes in the where the D mark is and the black goes on the top same pattern here and uh, the same pattern here red goes to where the d mark is and the black goes to where there is no imprint so i'm just going to follow here the red goes here the black goes here so we'll just fix it and then we'll cut cut it out done well <coughs> now i have white and the ground and if you see the panel for me both the white and the ground goes onto the same segment here and we're going to do the same so i have to cut the white to shot on it and the red and the other one goes up so let me just put this up first and then get the white and the ground out and uh, I see a couple of open posts here we can use any one of them see there are two lines there each is 120 and uh, you see the back of uh, this guy it just snaps on to that and then there's a bottom one which is just gonna hold it so uh, we'll just put this in. Can you keep it here? Can you see? Yeah, these wires are difficult to bend, but uh, do your best. 
All right, so this is how the wiring comes and nicely tucked in here. Um, and then it goes all the way. These are the two grounds, right and uh, the ground wire. And nicely tucked in here and coming out. Now we have to just put a septicle. Okay, uh, this is a final uh, close-up. This is the car charger installed, and uh, these are the wires are going. Now it's uh, tucked in fine. Everything is looking good. The Tesla is working great. Okay. The final part of this video will be to open the slots on your um, basically. Circuit breaker. Um. Circuit breaker metal pen.